Hey, what's going on everybody? Warrior, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And today, guys, we'll be starting a brand new Let's Play. And as you guys can see on the screen, it is a SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for the Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. So, I originally played the original game, which was one of my favorite games of all time. And also, it was one of the first games, uh, video games that I played in my whole life. I think it was my third, probably, or my second video game that I played. That's why I'm super excited to do this let's play because this game has a special place in my heart because th this is what got me into gaming pretty much because of just like the atmosphere and everything like that. So enough of my rambling. Let us get right into it. So let us uh, do new game and dang, we're getting right into it. No intro, no nothing. Okay, it's loading. I have been waiting for this game a long time. I remember it getting revealed on uh, what's it called on YouTube. I literally watched that trailer probably like three times to just... Look it over and get that hype in. And then from that point on, I just kept on following the game and hoping that it would release soon. And it did. I think the first teaser trailer for it came out last year. And also, I've been waiting so long to play this game because originally I thought games released at 12 o'clock. But I bought this uh, this game on Steam, so I'm playing it on the PC. And what's it called? Uh, it released today at 12 p.m., which I... No, not even 12 p.m. It released at 1 p.m., which was kind of odd because you would expect the game that comes out the 23rd would release on midnight, right? But it didn't, which was kind of stupid in my opinion. But I am uh, done uh, complaining because we're getting right into the game. Oh, the switch. Oh, snap. Those are the robots. Dang, the graphics are so good. It's insane because I remember, like, the GameCube graphics. Like, they're so pixelated. But now this is, like, HD, 1080p, 60 frames per second. And I think you could even make it... Oh, that's not good. Don't obey. Oh, Plankton. Little did you know. Yeah, you made them, but you didn't put the obey button. And now... They're going against you. So like I was saying, I think you could even put this to 4K resolution on the PC version, which is pretty cool because the game looks fantastic. And there we go, the orange pineapple, the iconic orange pineapple. Oh, there they are, Patrick and SpongeBob playing uh, their robots and uh, what was it? Robots and something else. Robo Jr. Frankie, what an interesting name. <laughs> the way he said it too, he's just Frankie. Oh, it's the Magic Con Show. It's not just any shell. It's my It's the magical shell. So we put the toy robots in here. Just the way SpongeBob creeps out, but to see it. <laughs> Alright. You're gonna regret making that wish. And in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. I I don't think that's a good idea. What is the magic word? So okay is the magic wishing word? It used to oh. What? What did he just say there? Is that even English? I don't even think that's English. I don't even think that's a language right there. I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. <laughs> Freaking Patrick, man. <laughs> I would... I don't even know who my favorite spongebob character there's so many good characters honestly it's between spongebob and patrick my favorite characters in spongebob oh that's a loud alarm imagine just having that waking up to that in real life just you're becoming bottom uh, stinks uh i don't think gary did that gary's innocent i swear don't you point your fingers at gary Oh snap, I think we're gonna get into the gameplay right now. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Ooh. Meow. Meow. <laughs> idea. These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Huh, alright, that's useful. How do I read the signs. Uh, I think you just uh go up to them? Meow, okay. Okay. Press this button to read the signs. Alright. R B. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. 
All right, okay. That's pretty easy, I'm pretty sure. This is going to be a very long day. Oh, yeah, you're right. Explore the kitchen, explore the bedroom, explore the attic. Explore the closet. Ooh, the golden spatula is in the closet. All right. Dang, it feels so smooth. Look at this. I'm so excited if you guys can't tell by my voice because this was my childhood right here. Like the nostalgia is just coming back. With SpongeBob, when I was a child, I used to watch it all the time. It was like all my... I can't even speak. That's how excited I am. So it was like my all-time favorite show, uh, Spongebob Squarepants. I used to watch it non-stop. I used to... I bought the movie, the first movie that came out of Spongebob, and I played that movie millions of times. All right, let's read the sign. Spongebob may see how well he is doing by pressing RT. The number in the upper right is how many shiny objects Spongebob has. The number in the upper center is how many golden spatulas Spongebob has collected. The number in the lower right is how many of Patrick's lost socks Spongebob has found. Oh, okay, we're collecting Patrick's lost socks. Hopefully they're not dirty. And finally, the number in the in the upper left is how many pairs of underwear Spongebob has. Alrighty. Pretty easy. Oh, I forgot the letter. Hmm. <laughs> And it even smells sweaty. Just Did he just there. smell it? Uh, I don't think that's sanitary, SpongeBob. Oh, I think you gotta not do that. Yeah, I know. They, I, it kind of sucks because, like, you could tell that the voice actor for uh, what's it called, um, for Mr. Krabs is not the voice actor for sure. Which kind of sucks how they couldn't bring him, um, back for like the the remake, which kind of sucks, but. It's, I think it was Nick, Nickelodeon that didn't want to do it for some reason, which was was kind of stupid in my opinion. They should have just brought him back to make like the remake even better. All right, all right, Mr. Krabs. Dang, I like the graphics. All right, I'm just gonna try all the controls. Okay, dang. Ooh, he feels more floaty. That's the thing. He feels so much floaty, so much floaty that doesn't even make sense. Ooh, look at SpongeBob. He has like a picture of Patrick. Jeez, the robots did something to this house. Alright, how many sparkly things do I have? Okay, so I have 54. Oh, I could easily just go there. But I'm going to explore Spongebob's house. I really want to explore Spongebob's house. I like how he has just a picture of Sandy in his room. It's like, whatever. Oh, he has a picture of that episode. Dang, there's so many Spongebob episodes. It's, it's insane. It's kind of sad to see that like the newer episodes of Spongebob are not as good as like the old ones, which were like amazing. I would say that like... Up to season 3 of Spongebob is like the prime Spongebob. And then after that, it literally just goes downhill. Alright. So we explored the bedroom. Can we go into this room? Oh, what is this? Ooh. Spongebob reads comic books? Probably about Mermaid Maiden and Barnacle Boy. Ooh, the tiki's. Our first tiki destroyed. That is kind of sick. But the thing, I don't think we could explore or actually do the challenge here because we don't have the bowling ability. Um, actually, let me try it out. Maybe I do have that ability. Push, 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 push. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that line from the original. Alright, come on. We get it, Spongebob. Your old comic books are in the library. Damn, Spongebob has a huge library. Alright. Oh, the bowling ball. The bowling ball. The beach ball. I remember that. And what happens if I jump here? Okay, so there has to be another switch that... Oh, I see. Okay, so I gotta move the ball over here in this direction. I gotta say, this game runs amazingly, and the controls are not that bad. I thought they were not gonna transfer well because it's an older game to, like, modern console, but it did its work. It, it, it feels fine. And the funny part is that, like, many people, like, many companies are, what's it called, giving it bad reviews. Ooh, what the hell? The camera is kind of weird right there. And we got, a uh, Patrick Sock, which, um, like I was saying before I got the sock, um, I was looking at some of the reviews for the game, and some people gave it bad reviews for some reason, which I think is kind of not right, because this game probably deserves, like, not bad reviews, because it's so good, it's so nostalgic. I guess, if you haven't played the original, then you don't know what, like, what it means, I guess. And, uh, we're about to collect our first spatula, so let us get right there, yes! Our first spatula, and now we can go outside. Alright. Our first spatula down the drain. Down the drain. And now we opened up that door. And now we can go outside. Oh, snap. We're going to go to the outside world. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got golden pants up there. Or golden underwear. 
with jellyfish afield. Oh, plant in. <laughs> yep, he was trying to do that, but he failed miserably. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. That you cost? Um, he made them. Um, oh, uh, Plankton's that thing me. dumb now. Okay, he thinks he's smart. Showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. Oh no! They even bent all my spoons. Not the spoons. Anything the but the spoons. My my yeah. Okay, Plankton. Uh, SpongeBob oh, believed him. Help me stop them before they bend all my forks. Oh, not oh, the forks. <laughs> of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Yes, golden we have to. Spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. Ah. Oh. Your dreams. Oh, okay. Yeah, there it is. There is like the. The, the evil part of Plankton. Alright, so now we are on the outside of world. So we're gonna explore this area. This is the like the main hub that connects everything. Okay, so let me get all the shiny things. We only have a hundred, dang. Oh, the Tiki's look amazing. But they look freaky. Their eyes look freaky from the original game. Super combo. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. They have uh, the combo. Oh, it's the sneaky Tikis. I think I have to, I have to sneak up to them. Boom! Right in the face. Sneak attack. Oh, it's Bubble Buddy. Okay. Bubble Buddy. <laughs> the way he says it. That ninth dimension? What? And Giant Monkey Man. What the heck? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, okay. I think uh, wrong person you're talking to. Something about new bubble moves? Right. Okay. Press, this button and you'll launch Press Y and launch yourself. Okay. Oh yeah, it's the moves that we already did. Above you. Try it out. Okay, let's try it out. Right here. Boom! Uh, dang, that feels so smooth. Oh, that's the next section that we can go to. That's Sandy's Tree Dome. The police, and that's so cool. You can see the Flying Dumption, uh, Dumption, Dumption, I think his name is? Flying Dutchman. No, it's Dutchman. Is level from here. You can see a ship or mo many ships. Damn, in the green moon. That's so sick. I like how you can see it. Oh, you can see the uh, Goo Goo Lagoon also. That's so. I like how that, like, they improved that. Alright, so now that we have talked to Bubble Buddy and Plankton, we could talk to Mr. Krabs and uh, Mr. Uh, Star. Mr. Star. Mr. Patrick Star. This flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more crusty crab. Oh, no that isn't good. Crab means no more fry cooking for you. Oh no. No more fry cooking? Oh no, he's going to cry. You're going to make him cry. I'm going to help you out. <laughs> because you're gullible. <laughs> he probably doesn't know what gullible means, <laughs> SpongeBob, poor guy. Some of those shiny objects. Okay, so if we trade in shiny objects to Mr. Krabs, he's going to give us what's it called? Um what's it called? Um a golden spatula. Okay, interesting to know. Reminder to activate this button, press jump and press a B. Alright, good. So there's a button under there, but I want to talk to Mr. Star. Alright, hey, let's talk Patrick. to him. Nice talk. What sock? Oh, uh, that's what, exactly what I said. The one you're standing on. What are you st what? Oh, that one. Oh, that one. <laughs> what do you mean? It's it's literally right in front of you. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. Oh no! Use some help getting them back. Don't worry, Patrick. We're on the case. Sure thing, Patrick. But our best friends full. I like how SpongeBob's like tie just okay, goes then. flying in the Whatever air too. It reminds me of like uh, Superman. I'll give you a golden turkey baster. Uh, I don't think we want that. You I think a spatula. spatula. Yeah, that's what we want. Bless a spatula. You. Bless you. What? <laughs> Alrighty then, I think we're just gonna ignore that and just take the the sock. Alright, so I guess 10 for each uh, spatula that he gives us, alright. So now that we're done with that, I can explore this area. I remember there's a golden spatula in the original up in um, Spongebob's pineapple, so let us see if it, that's still the case. Ooh, I actually meant, um, I screwed up this thing because I'm supposed to press this button first and then go to the other one, but it's fine. Okay, so now let me go on top. Ooh, can I go up here? Yes, actually, I might make it. Okay, come on. There we go. Oh, there we go. Go jump. 
jump, and there we go. Our second uh, golden spatula. Yes, let's go. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have all of this done, we explore this area. I'm going to go inside uh, Squidward's house and Patrick's house to see what's inside. I think we could go in there. Because in the original, you could. And I think it's the same. Stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. Mud bath? Ugh. Can I take it any more dreary? Yeah, I can, actually. So sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Well, it was Plankton at the end of the day, but I guess SpongeBob doesn't know that. Why don't you move to another town? <laughs> Jeez, kind of harsh, not gonna lie, but that's Squidward. <laughs> Freaking Squidward, man. Alright, I guess we'll do that. At least let's put a... Okay, let's uh jump on around. Ooh, dang, we're destroying his house. I hope he has insurance. Ooh, what the heck? We could change his paint, the painting? Oh, now he has a mustache. Great. Just stop jumping, will you? you literally just said to jump. <laughs> Golden spatula, will you please go away? All right, Squidward, I'll do it. I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> Don't touch me. All right, our third golden spatula of the episode. Let's go. Okay, let me destroy these tiki's. Oh, what just happened there? What did I just do? Huh? We got a golden uh, sock. All right, we got an, a golden sock. Uh, Patrick sock. All right, so now that we have that done, the loading screens are so fast. They go by so fast, like, compared to the original. All right, now that we're... Oh, the Tiki's reset. Okay, so now I can uh, get, what's it called, more shiny objects. There we go. All right, super monster combo. Nice. All right, so now that I have everything explored around here, I can't go to Bikini Bottom, the main part, or I should say downtown. And I think our next location is Jellyfish... Field. So let us go to our first location of the game. So this is this game when I was a child. It reminded me of Mario 64 a lot because it had like different sections and different um, golden spatulas to collect. But in um, replacing Mario's with stars, which is kind of cool how they did that. I always like, yeah, this is from this is like a spinoff. Well, not even spinoff. This is kind of a ripoff of um. Super Mario 64 with like the locations and the spatulas, which is kind of cool. It's not a ripoff because they did an excellent job with the SpongeBob characters in this game. Oh, and there's Squidward with some jellyfishes. Oh, that's not good. He got zapped out of existence. Poor Squidward, man. Oh, and the robot's just laughing at him. Damn, feels bad. Squidward, are you okay? I don't think he is. He literally just fell from the sky and got shocked. I don't think you are. I think his, I think his nose is already big. <laughs> his animation. I think. Wait, aren't you bald too? <laughs> wait. Yeah, that's not good. According to the Jellyfish Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. Oh, sounds pretty easy. Oh, unless SpongeBob's jellyfish. scared of King Jellyfish. Oh no. Spork Mountain, and Spork Mountain what the heck? What kind of name is that? Oh, that isn't good. Poor Squidward, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like that when he goes into like superhero mode. It reminds me of like Superman with his cape. I don't know. All right, I guess we're gonna go to Spork Mountain to get that jellyfish. Uh, what's it called? Um, I don't know what it's called. Um, uh, from King Jellyfish, I'm pretty sure. I forget what he said exactly. It's like a bottle of, uh, I think something to cure Squidward from his in injuries. There we go. I can speak. All right, we destroyed that robot easily. Dang, I, I, I still can't get over the graphics. It shines. It shines. All right. Okay, let's destroy everything. Use that attack to get the remaining shinies. I think there's still one up there, but I can't grab it, which sucks. All right, so now let's read the sign. This is goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall in the goo. All right, so I guess no goo for us. But how do I get that sock? Oh, I need Patrick for that. I remember that. This is a, is a teleport box. When you both... Well, uh, when you have both of the teleport boxes in the area open, 
You may teleport between them by jumping inside. All right, that's useful. I remember the boxes from the original game. All right. So now let us continue on. Ooh. Robots. All right, don't fall in the goo. There we go. Oh, that was close. All right, nope. Get away from me. Oh, snap. Is that animation new? I don't know if it is new because I don't remember that in the original game where SpongeBob, like, runs in terror. Interesting. Okay, so let me grab all these tiki's. Okay, and now let me slam dunk them. All right. Oh, destroy that jellyfish before it stings us. Okay, let me go on top here. Boom, right in the face. Okay, more tiki's to smash. Perfect. More uh, shiny objects for us. And okay, I guess nothing there. Okay, let's just drop down. Hopefully not in the goo. Oh, that was close. So oh, that was super close. All right. Oh, actually, I was supposed to collect. Okay, I got two of them, which is fine. All right, more tiki's over here. All right, we need 125 to open the bridge. I think we can, but I want to explore this area from behind. I actually want to explore every inch of uh, this um, game. I I don't know if I'm gonna 100% the game yet because I I don't know, but uh, I'm I'll think about it because this game honestly, like I said, it, it has a special spot in my heart. So I might actually do it. It might be the first 100% let's play on my channel. Ooh, another sock. Oh, that's a golden special, but how do we get that and more shiny objects? I don't think we could do that right now. So we're going to move uh, back towards the main uh, path. Oh, there's more tiki's right here. And after that, I will be good. All right, so let me jump on them first to get the shinies. And now let's destroy them. Kind of feel kind of bad. Not going to lie. All right, so now that I have that, I could go over here and I could... Uh, um, what's it called? I could order the bridge by express mail or by plane mail. That works out. Okay, so now that I have that, I can uh, move on along to the other side of the bridge. We got more robots. Get out of here. Get out. Out. Alright, let's slam dunk. There we go. The music is so iconic, too. That's the funny part. I, I like, so calming. Alright, so now let's uh, destroy the jellyfish. Alright, more tiki's to get. Okay. Ooh, ice. What the heck? All right, let me drop down, get these tiki's. Ooh, what the heck? I didn't get them? Really? Damn. I thought I did. All right, but it's fine. I got them afterwards. Okay, more tiki's. Let me slam dunk them. There we go. I don't even know what that move is called. I'll just call it slam dunk. All right, let's slam dunk. Oh, that was close. We were about to get hit. There we go. All right, so now let me get done. Oh, okay. We didn't get hit, so we're good. Oh, more robots and jellyfish. Oh, dang. We just slammed the two robots next to each other okay so more tiki's Ooh, there's a secret ledge back here okay so how do i get over to that location i forget how to do that oh there's a button right there is it that button i think wait let me grab these shiny objects i think it is actually over here yeah it is oh god can i make it yeah i can all right let's slam dunk now that we have activated what is spongebob doing <laughs> he's just like tip owing Okay, so now I have that. Let's jump over. I like how there are like crates, which is kind of cool. Oh, another sock. Dang, we're finding these socks all around the place. Okay, so now that we have that, let me grab all these shiny objects and then I could bounce. And then this is, where is this exactly gonna? Oh, okay, back to here, which is amazing. Because now I could go over here. Oh, don't wanna get hit by them. Okay, come on. Oh, jump down. Oh, jump, jump. All right. All right, now let me destroy these tiki's. These tiki's thought they were safe. Okay, another jellyfish that we could easily dodge. Okay, so I gotta wait for an opening. Okay, I think that might be. Oh no! There we go. Okay, never mind. Oh no, no, no! Oh my! Oh, thank God we didn't fall, uh, fall in the goo. All right, I could get back up there. Oh, that was close. All right, there we go. Oh God, I'm about to get hit again. All right, we made it. We made it without getting hit multiple times okay there we go we destroyed the cannon oh gary's here hey gary oh never mind i don't have to read it oh mao okay <laughs> oh spongebob all right okay so now there's a button there that we could press but i'm gonna do the bungee jumping let's do it Oh, snap, our first bungee jump. All right, let me not get the spatula first. I want to get the, what's it called? The, um, the shiny objects first. 
Hey, yes, it does, SpongeBob. Oh, I can't grab it. Oh, I grabbed the spatula. Oh, I grabbed the shiny. All right, I guess we grabbed everything. There we go. Our fourth spatula, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is our fourth spatula, which is a cool. Okay, so now that we have that done, we could uh, hit this button, and now we could uh, move on along. There we go. Okay, boom, get out of here. It's not your place. All right, okay, there we go. Platform, and there we go. We made it. Oh, snap, what's going on here? Oh, a new type of enemy. <laughs> oh, SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, no, here we go. Oh, that's a new type of enemy, which is uh, kind of cool. He has a hammer. It's like hammer time. Oh, God, see ya. Ooh, I kind of like there for a reason. For a reason, I wonder why. All right, boom, right in the face. Boom, right in the face. All right, there's something here too, right? Okay. Okay, let me grab these shiny objects. Please don't fall. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, let me get all these shiny objects. Okay, so now what do I do? Can you even get up there? Oh, yeah, there's a sock up there. How, how do I get up there? That's my question. Oh, I have to use the bouncers to get up there. Okay, interesting. All right. So I guess we're not going to do that. Because you have to get up on that platform. What does this do? Is this the bowling? Wait, what is this? SpongeBob needs to know the bowling, uh, uh, bubble bowling move in order to play this game. Okay, so we don't have that ability yet. I thought we started off with that ability. I guess we didn't, which is kind of odd because in the original, I'm not sure how that happens. I think in the original, you don't have it either. I think you'll unlock it over time. All right, so I think, um, I'm gonna end it off here, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button below for more SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for the Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out, Jorge.